Hey, hey, beautiful loves. How are you? Just give it a moment to notify that we are live. So this live is going to be an Ascension update and also answering your reverse aging questions. I've had a lot of questions about reverse aging so far. Um, it's quite a unique topic, but perhaps something that you have been consciously allowing and working towards in your own practice, but I'm going to be answering your questions. So please do share your questions, friends, and hi to everybody here. Oh, so nice that you could be here live. And also hi to those who are watched on the replay. So that new moon, let's talk about that one first. Um, wow, that was intense. Intense was the word, isn't it? It brought up a lot of uh, emotions. How are you feeling from that? We're still in that portal of the new moon and I'm actually feeling it more today than I did yesterday. But uh, yeah, I was speaking to a friend of mine today and we were reflecting how much it's bringing up chaos and it's opening the doors to the past to come in and whatever we haven't um, completed, cycles that we haven't completed, especially to do with chaos, control, injustice is coming up. And I'm really feeling that. Um, so it's been fairly intense the last few days and I haven't been online going through a house move and loads of work and just busy, busy as always. But I felt really guided to come on and talk a little bit about the energies at this time and also talk about reverse aging. So let's just go into what's coming forward. Ah, friends, there is so much that's happening in collective consciousness right now and I try not to tune in. Uh, I used to tune in pretty much every day and remember if you've been following me for a while I used to do Mother Earth News every day. Do you remember that? Tuning in to the Ascension Energy every day and sharing those videos out in nature and often the elementals would come in and the angels. I loved it, absolutely loved it. But the thing is, with Mother Earth News, I was often left very drained because I was plugging consciously into collective consciousness all the time. And now I just sort of dip my toe in, in and out. You're probably the same. Um, but it's becoming more apparent every day, just the, just the two camps of those who are willing to... Um, move their life forward, move their ascension pathway upward and those that just, for whatever reason, a whole myriad of reasons, do not want to move forward and upward. And um, if you feel like, you know, we're all being placed in geogra geographic locations where we need to uh, bring the area up either unconsciously subconsciously working with the land or maybe it's more conscious but we're all being placed and there's a lot of relocations happening this year maybe you've you've felt that you um, want to relocate or you have relocated um, I'm going to be moving uh, in two weeks and it's still in the same town but it's away from everybody. I'm going to be moving into um, a farm cottage where there's just going to be sheep and uh, lots of nature and I'm, I'm really excited for that. Um, but sometimes it can feel like those of us who are walking this aware path, it can feel like we're being placed where uh, there's nobody around that they're on our wavelength and we feel like we're very much um, uh, the odd one out. Um, but please take comfort in the fact that you're being placed there for a reason. You're being placed there to support the land, to support the elementals, to support those who are ready, the sleeping beauties who are ready around about you, whether it's friends and family or your neighbours or the community or the land itself, everything is coming up. And never before have we been able to reach the point of consciousness that we're in right now. But nevertheless, um, there is so much that's been released and um, it really has never been so important to have a daily way of cleansing and purifying your energy field, especially if you are a healer, empath, um, light worker, sensitive, you know, you, you do a lot of um, reading people, connecting with people's energy. It's really, really important to cleanse and purify yourself. And I have a technique called the mirror technique 
that I'm sure you have seen on this page or maybe in some of my courses and if not DM me, let me know and I will send you the link to that video because it's a really wonderful way to just cleanse your energy field at the end of the day and it's 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 not about cutting cords and um, washing your body, it's releasing the energetic, emotional imprint of another person as well as the environment, the places, as well as the memories that you've connected with as well everything, taking them out of your field, those people, those aspects and taking you out of them, calling your energy back. And then we do this funky trick with mirrors um, that allows anything that wants to still engage you to not engage, to just actually be engaged in their higher self. And then you can go into this gorgeous slumber. And the last few days, I haven't been doing the mirror technique before bed. I normally do it and I've been also connect into the collective consciousness and I felt that, I felt the heaviness of that, I felt the uh, the drag of that and it's been influencing um, just my day to day as well and haven't been online and yeah just it's, it's interesting we have to be really aware of when this happens, um, when we have sort of came out of our normal spiritual practices, our ways of energetic hygiene, um, just just be very aware June has been thick and fast, hasn't it? So much, as I said, is purging from the collective consciousness, but at a micro level, we are shifting and changing so much. July, there's a reprieve, feels much lighter. Um, I'm getting the word possibility, like greater possibility from a tune into the energy of July. But I want to bridge the ascension energy of what's going on right now into something that came forward last night and why... I'm so called to talk more about reverse aging, something that I've been passionate about for years and um, have cherry picked from different guides and different uh, friends and downloads that have came through and, and put together this workshop that's taken place on the second. <clears throat> reverse aging isn't all about making yourself look beautiful and more youthful. It's about unbecoming the attachment that we have to our body, ironically. Unbecoming the attachment and the belief systems that we have about our body, that we have about aging, um, uh, detaching ourselves even from the identification of soul. Um, because soul we all have a soul. Souls are, our soul is, is wonderful and beautiful, but our soul is really, if we were to look at it from a very clear perspective, a neutral perspective, it is the storehouse of our memories. It's the storehouse, it's the Akasha, the Akashic record, six records we have, not just one, six records of all of our lifetimes, all of the possible lifetimes as well. And when we are always identified with... Um, looking at ourself and identifying with ourself through the lens of a body, through the lens of an ego, through the lens of our desires, and then more so through the lens of our soul, through the lens of our memories, through the lens of the consciousness of those memories, then we inevitably will age, we'll age within and we'll also age uh, uh, outside as well because we are locked into the idea of... Uh, this matrix experience. What I want to share with you in this clip um, is preparing us for this portal that we're entering in July 2nd for the reverse aging event. And even if you're not coming along, just be here in this resonant energy because there's a group of angels that stepped in on Sunday. And they're going to be here for the next couple of weeks and they're going to be helping me in that workshop. They're here right now. I wonder if you can feel their vibration. It's very, very peaceful, this beautiful group consciousness of angels. And um, they remind us that reverse aging helps us to unbecome this, the labels and identifications with our body, seeing ourselves as just a body or seeing ourselves as just a soul and allows us to have it more of an experience of our spirit. And then from, from that, we untether ourselves from the spirit 
and we be and we become and we remember our deity consciousness and then from that we untether and we come into pure awareness and that is the journey and that may take lifetimes and lifetimes but nevertheless um to consciously youth our body we need to relate to ourselves more as a spirit less as a soul and less as a body and this is something that I've been doing for a while and a lot of people say you do you know you, you don't look like you're in your 40s which is nice I don't feel and act like I'm in my 40s either that probably has something to do with it um Often people think I'm in my late 20s or in my 30s. So this 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 way of being, what I'm talking about, works. Um, and there is, there is other things I want to share in this video. Like I'm going to share right at the end a number my number one spiritual beauty hack. Because we can keep it real as well. From esoteric down to something physical, I'm going to share something with you that you can bring into your day to day. Um... But with reverse aging, where it all started for me, okay, I'm going to share with you a little story. So 2012, um, I went through a big rebirth in my life. A really significant relationship ended. I closed down my treatment centre and shop that I had called Ethereal Light. That was the... Um, foundation of angel healing and unicorn healing the first courses were were taught in this beautiful therapy center that i had but closed that down pretty much gave away all my furniture left scotland on on the whim of spirit who basically said you need to go to maine i didn't know anybody in maine in the states i didn't even know whereabouts in maine and then the more that i tuned in i got the word portland and then <clears throat> it was all quite quite an incredible uh series of synchronicities that led me to do this and have a total rebirth leave everything in Scotland and go and move over and uh, live in a cabin in the woods um, pretty much nearly off the grid within an intentional community of the most beautiful souls and one of those souls was a guy called Alden and Alden was in his 50s yet friends I wish I had a picture of him to show you um, so you could see this with your, you know, your own eyes. Um, he was in his 50s, yet he had the body of maybe a 22-year-old. His skin was so soft and smooth. There wasn't wrinkles to his body. Um, he just really worked in the garden. He didn't work out or do weights or anything. But he has a beautiful body and his eyes were so clear and blue and gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous, man. And I remember, you know, he didn't really talk that much to the, at the beginning, but I remember he would always be meditating at night time, like for hours and hours and on end. And the more I got to know him, the more I realised that what he was doing, he was intentionally, very unconsciously, focusing on the chromosomes of his cells. And within the cells, um, I'm not going to get too sciencey here, but within our cells, the, the caps, the end caps of our cells, we have something called telomeres. And as we, um, as we age, these telomeres break off the, the ends of the cells and they get shorter and shorter and shorter. So what he would do is he would imagine that there was no shortening of the telomeres of his cells and also he was activating um, some an enzyme in those cells that help us to reverse age called telomerase which is the equivalent of the fountain of youth a biological equivalent of the fountain of youth in our cells and he would meditate on this and it was really having this profound effect on his body he had literally halted the aging process by doing this and if we ever needed proof, if it wasn't enough just to see him and his level of energy, um, there was a couple that came to stay and they had, um, it, I think it was called a biofeedback machine. It was something where they, and this was like going back in 2012, I'm sure there's more sophisticated software now, but um, the man, he used to be a, a, a MD, a doctor, but had shifted just like I did I left my scientific cancer research career 
and did a 360 into the spiritual, into spiritual healing, just as he did. And he was traveling with his partner and he came to stay with us for a few weeks. And he put Alden on this biofeedback machine. And uh, he could not believe the results when he was looking at Alden's chromosomes because they had completely mutated. He'd never seen it before. His cells had completely mutated because he had consciously, he'd consciously done this to himself. He'd mutated his cells. He activated the enzyme that helps us to youth our bodies and that the proof was in the pudding. And we could, he just laughed, of course, because he knew it. He didn't need the proof. He completely believed. Um, and so that sparked my initial, and I guess opened up this pathway of belief, like, oh my God, we can actually youth our bodies so I started to do it and it led me to a series of books um, called The Life and Teachings of the Masters of the Far East don't quote me on that but something like that and you can actually get these books free you can get the audio books free on YouTube you can listen to them and uh, these incredible masters in the Far East I think this book was written in the early 19... 19- 20s. Um, it was an account of, uh, I think he was a journalist and there was a big group that went out and lived with these masters and they saw the most incredible miracles and these beautiful beings were, you know, biologically, by our standards, I guess, by the belief of, of the collective consciousness, they were well into their hundreds, two hundreds, but actually looked like they were in their 20s because they had actively youth their body. And um, I started to adopt their teachings as well as what Alden had influenced and stuff that had come through with the angels. And I've been doing it ever since. And most nights, some nights I forget, but most nights I will say the phrase, I will visualize um, youth in my skin and like my skin looks my skin looks good I feel good I feel young I've got lots of energy in my body I certainly do not feel in my 40s um, and then a couple of years ago I aligned with um, an ascension guide who comes in and out of my life dropping little nuggets and then leaving again and he shares a program of reverse aging and I was on it for a while and um, you can certainly feel it. And he, he he focuses on reverse aging more from the technologies from Egypt when he had an aspect of him was Ra, um, because of course we can be aspects of the Scented Masters and Deity Consciousness. And he had connected with the, that memory. He had unbecome the, the identity with the body, the soul, the spirit, and he'd reached his godhood consciousness. And all of these memories were coming back. And he used the technologies that were used in Egypt to put us through processes of reverse aging. And um, they all worked. So big, a big introduction there. But this is the reason why I want to share this workshop with you, friends. And it's only in two hours. Um, on July 2nd from 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock UK time if you can come and the replay is included and I'm going to be sharing in it an activation to the fountain of youth and a way that you can consciously visualize your telomeres and reactivate that enzyme in your cells to actively youth your body and it will be a practice that you can do every day until you get to the point where you're just adopted your own way or maybe you have your own way already um and i'm going to be including some beauty spiritual hacks as well um that i gleamed from after i left science i started up a spiritual skincare business called Kitty Soaps and all the products, I'm laughing because most of the products people wouldn't use, they would meditate with because they were all infused with angel and fairy and unicorn and mermaid energy and Reiki. Um, but I loved working with natural and organic oils and really taking time to activate them and connect them with source and speak to the spirit off the plants and the herbs and really have this beautiful conscious connection with them and um, 
then bring that into the products and we'll talk about more about that in the workshop but this just to give you an idea there's scientific scientific background here background creating skincare products also my own experience so I really feel that you're going to get a lot out of this workshop and I haven't really been able to come on and talk more about it so let me know if you've got any questions about it friends Oh, you've got requests to join. Hello, everybody. If you have a question, um, please post it and um, I will answer it here rather than bringing you on. Who has a question? <laughs> hey, Michelle. She's saying that story's intense. Yeah, I wish I was still in touch with Alden and to show you, I could show you a picture of him and you could see. Any questions about reverse aging? Do you reverse age yourself? Do you consciously youth your body? Do you feel your biological age? Or do you feel the energetic age that you are setting for yourself? Let me know in the comments. Because it all comes down to our beliefs, friends. It really does. You know, there's a common belief that when you hit 40, especially for a woman, you lose um, uh, elasticity in your skin. Your skin starts to produce less collagen and it starts to wrinkle more. It starts to sag. If you believe in that, that, that will be your reality. If you don't believe in that, if you feel that you can reverse that and halt the signs of aging, you absolutely can. And there's ways to do it. And yes, there there's these esoteric energetic processes and visualizations that you can do, but always remember that if you can keep your stress levels at bay as much as you can, if you can exercise your body, if you can sweat every day. That's a really good one that always comes through from the guys, like sweat every day. And it doesn't have to be an intense workout. It could be, you know, having a really cozy Epsom salt bath and allowing your body to sweat. It's so important for the skin and flushing out old, dead and unwanted cells because we are bombarded now with more chemicals and toxins in our atmosphere, in our food, in our drinking water than ever before. Than ever before. Even just a couple of generations back, what our ancestors were exposed to in one year, we are exposed to in one day, friends. One day. I'm actually lying on my bed. I'll show you this. I'm lying on my bed um, on my, well, the halite lamp which is one of the best things for putting negative ions in your environment to combat all of the electromagnetic uh, stuff, let's just say, that's in and around us. And also I'm lying on this, wait, can you see, this amethyst biomat, which I've had incidentally since 2012, since the time with Alden living in the States. Um, this is like a heated amethyst uh, mat almost like the physical manifestation of the violet flame, you could say, and I lie on it every day. And that really does help as well. Keeps the stress at bay, cleanses my body as well. So that's that's all, that's really important, as is meditation, as is a, per, a good perspective, a neutral perspective. That's all going to help you to keep youthful and not just on an outward uh, appearance level, but also just youthful in your mind, youthful in your thoughts. Okay, any questions? Um, Evie's saying, I feel 40. <clears throat> I am 40, but I feel like I'm 25. Um, all the people, um, what does what does that mean? All the people give early 30. I'll think that you're in your early 30s. There you go. <laughs> yeah, the bed is so healing. It's so, it's so nice to lie on every night. And just now doing videos with your friends. Okay, if there's no questions, then let me know, give me a DM if you have any questions about reverse aging, what it involves. Um, I'll just tell you briefly before we go into that number one beauty hack. 
the workshop is going to be two hours long. We're going to be doing an activation to the Fountain of Youth. The actual Fountain of Youth exists, friends. And many of us that are living right now have the remembrance of living in Atlantis. And when we lived in Atlantis, we lived in our glorified bodies. We lived in radiant bodies. Our bodies didn't age. Well, they're correcting me. They did age, but they aged a lot, lot slower. A lot, lot slower. You know, the average age was around about 250 years old. Uh, 200, and, yeah, 250 years old. It wasn't what it is now. Is I don't know what that would be. Maybe 80, something like that. It might not even be that high, depending on the country. Um, but we lived in our glorified bodies now. The aging process was a lot slower. We were a lot more radiant and um, we worked more with, of course, crystal technologies like I'm lying on right now to keep our energy field really purified. Um, and we were aware, we were much more aware of things like energetic imprints and stress and all of that and how to manage that and that kept us youthful. But there is a way that we can come back into living in our glorified body now. Not when we graduate, not when we pass this earth plane, but now we can do it now. We can do it. I'm living, breathing consciousness of that now. I'm I'm doing it right now. I'm in my forties and I feel so radiant. I definitely feel 21. In my head, I am 21. That's the number. And if you're coming to the workshop, have a number as well. What number would you like to be? Let me know in the comments. What number? If you want to readjust your biological clock, what would be your number? Pop it in the comments. Um, so we're going to be enjoying this activation to the fountain of youth that exists. We're going to be tapping into those memories of when we we had a radiant, glorified body. We're going to be bringing that online. And um, we're going to be connecting with this beautiful group of angelic beings and staying in the space of pure angelic resonance so that we can begin to just gently step out of the identifications with body, with self, with ego, with soul and come more into realising that the spirit of youth lives within our temple right now. That's all we need to know. The spirit of youth lives within my temple right now and I trust that spirit of youth and I am that spirit of youth. I'm going to be talking a little bit more about that and some beauty hacks. Um, okay, so the number one beauty hack I want to leave you with is have you heard of the incredible work of Dr. Amoto? Have you heard of him? If not, do check him out on, on YouTube. His books, he's got books and I think he's even got Oracle water cards as well. So he was an incredible soul who helped us to understand in a very physical, tangible way that the whatever we um, or the thoughts that we're projecting, if we wrote words and placed them around this water or even symbols or exposed this water to certain music, it would change the structure, the, stru the molecules of this water. And he compared it, for example, he compared... Um, water exposed to gratitude, the word gratitude written on the label and people praying on the water and compared to water that had the word hate and people swearing and he compared and it was it was just so incredible. So if we can if we can bring that and relate that to our bodies and it's often said that our bodies are what sixty to seventy 75% water but actually if we were to condense ourselves, if we were to like you know when a car goes to a scrap yard and it's condensed down if we it's not a nice thought but if we were condensed down we would actually be 90% water so we're so high so all the thoughts that we're putting in all the um, feelings everything that we're exposing ourselves to either saying within or when we look in the mirror what we're saying to ourselves has an effect has an effect on our structure, has a, an effect on our 
nervous system, one of the most energetic parts of us, the most spiritual aspect of us really is our nervous system um, from a physical standpoint. And it's exactly the same with skincare. All the skincare products that are to do with helping to youth the skin, do they have the word youth written on them? They don't. They have the word normally age-defying, um, anti-aging, age reversal, like something like that. It's always aging. So what's that going to do to the product? It's going to reinforce the. It's going to reinforce the word, and the energetic of aging into that product. So instead, if you've got skincare at home, and you're you're happy with taking the label off, take the label off, friends. Like peel the label off, and write, create a new sticker, that says the word, for example, you think or beautifying or love or joy or whatever it is that you want to imbue your skincare with do that do that it is a game changer I do that with all my cosmetics because even even the most wonderful cosmetics that I buy um, that say that they're natural and organic still have things like age defying or anti-aging I do not want that vibration into my skincare so I change it so that's that's an incredible beauty hack. Try it for yourself. And also just remember what Dr. Amoto paved for all of us to understand is what we are saying to ourselves, what we're exposing ourselves to has an effect not just on our mental well-being and our emotional well-being, but also our physical, spiritual and psychic well-being too. And of course, that is going to then relate to our aging um, and whether we look our age or um, it's going to get in the way. Michelle says, I set the intention to age backwards a few years ago and I'm currently 50 and I feel amazingly youthful. Wonderful. Amazing. Thank you for sharing, Michelle. So on the workshop on the 12th, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting, you're going to be setting friends, you're going to be setting the level of reverse aging that you feel you can anchor whether that is halting the aging process that's number one that we're going to be doing halting the aging process working on your belief systems first so that you're really allowing that then halting the aging process and then whether you feel you want to go back five years or 10 years or maybe I would say a maximum of 15 years is probably um, what we can manage in this two-hour workshop anyway, um, then allow that to be your reality. And it won't happen overnight, but it will happen. And you will steadily see over the months that your skin starts to look clearer, the wrinkles and the creases smooth out, and you start to feel, like Michelle says, just more youthful. And if you feel more youthful and you believe you're more youthful, what's going to happen? Your appearance is going to change, just like those the molecules of the water. It's going to restructure itself and you will see changes. Um, and I have not had any cosmetic work done, fillers, Botox, none of that. Um, not that I'm downplaying that. If people want that, that's absolutely fine. I have friends who have that done. Um, I don't use cosmetic, uh, expensive cosmetics or skincare. In fact, um, I only cleanse my face with olive oil just plain olive oil um, and the serums and things I use is rosehip oil and um, one of the best oils that you can put on your skin is rosehip oil and, and that's pretty much it but it's all the belief it's all the belief it's all paving the energetic work that we've been talking about that is the secret to reverse age and friends and I've done some courses that have that have promised reverse aging in seven days. And even though they're lovely meditation courses, that's all that they are. It's just meditation courses. It's just about breathing. It's just about relaxing. It's not about literally halting the process, working with the energetic of your spirit or nothing. So this is going to be new. I'm really excited about it. I hope you're going to come and join me. If you've got any questions, just send me a DM 
and um, keep riding this new moon energy. <sighs> it's intense, but it's bringing up what we need to see and what we need to resolve, isn't it? Sending so much love. Thank you for tuning in.